ladies and gentlemen. Um, my presentation premises, uh, the title of my presentation premises that I will speak about the family, children and youth programs of Palace of Arts. Uh, the programs we developed and operated in that past 10 years. Before I begin this brief presentation, I would like to put this activity into a wider context and review also very briefly the concept and history of concept pedagogy and its place in the scene of music education. Uh, the fact uh, that my presentation uh, got its place in the section about non-formal edu education uh, is not accidental. Uh, the uh, slide nem ment tovább. Szándékom ellenére. Can you help me? Okay. Megtaláltam. Uh, but non from education, um, if anything, concept pedagogy has its rightful place in this session. My presentation is structured around this fact. For uh, this audience, uh, there is obviously no need for detailed talk about the characteristics of formal music education. Uh, and its two branches, music teaching and learning, which is Hungary, has a well-established system and it's called Music School Network. And the school music education, which is realized mainly in singing uh, music lessons. If I may note something though, it would be that concept pedagogy is clearly in close contact with the latter. Both pedagogy, pedagogical activities, school teaching and concept pedagogy, serve the shaping of overall musical orientation and musical taste of children, and the youngsters and the provision of essential musical pleasures with them. The basic difference between the various fields of formal music education can be found in the attitudes to creation, reproduction and reception. It would be good if this relationship following the intended purposes would be more, more differentiated. The tradition of our music teacher training is reproduction and training centered. Although the tasks of the mediation of music and the development of receptive skills also belong to the teacher's job. For this purpose, it is important that all teachers meet uh, with the approach and essential tools of concept pedagogy, regardless uh, of where and on which degree they teach music whether they do their job as an artist or uh, as a teacher. The knowledge of uh, the numerous uh, uh, trends, methods, activities integrated by concert pedagogy opens new perspectives for them, makes them open for receiving these methods, enables them to put their experiences in wider international context and helps them to become a part of the paradigm shift on the millennium. I will not talk in details about the different channels of informal music education here. Uh, I will only mention something that is relevant to our topic. The amount of daily musical experience and the opportunity of encounters with music suddenly grew enormously around the millennium. This speeds up uh, the century-old process uh, that has lead, led to the endless expansion of the repertoire we can listen to and resulted in music becoming easily accessible to everyone. It can, can all, also be stated that uh, because of these processes, the gap between the formal and informal music education increases in content, approach, and quantity. The school has not found the right answers, solutions yet, neither, uh, neither has taken the necessary steps for the treatment of the huge amount of pluralized multicultural musical influences. If we think about 
uh, it, it is not an obvious thing that we have to teach people how to listen to music. The fact that is like that is the result of a historical process in which the natural re relationship of humans with music became a learned social behavior. I would like to highlight some of the motives of the story of appearance of music reception and audience. Namely those which, dating from the 19th century to the present, had greatly changed the relationship of the audience to music and remodeled the requirements for the listener and the way of reception. First is the, uh, the appearance of absolute music. Uh, the talking uh, and writing about music and the need of the ver verbal reflection. Second one, uh, historism, uh, which led to the uh, vertical expansion of, of the musical content uh, with uh, ex uh, exploring the uh, early music. The third one is uh, discovering other cultures, which led to the horizontal expansion of the repertoire. Sound recording uh, make independent the music listening from space and time and, and uh, uh, led to the temporal expansion of music listening. Marketization, an information boom, uh, and the technical uh, development. Uh, all these things uh, lead uh, to the expansion of, of repertoire and make easily to uh, get music. Uh, it's clear from the above that the changes that took place from the 19th century are on the one hand put larger requirements on the public, uh, and expansion of musical content, this integration of common language, the need to understand music. On the other hand, the efforts to obtain music practically reduced to zero. Market supply, disappearance of te temporal limits, global content which leads to leisureization from reception toward consumption. Western countries recognized this in the 70s and took the first steps which led to the expansion of concert hall functions and to the development of concert pedagogy, which effectively supports the traditional art education. This seeking ways led to the recognition to, uh, that concert halls and the team of professionals in their immediate and wider environment could play a significant role in audience development. The related pedagogical activity became a special separate area of expertise in Western countries, which is often called concert hall ped uh, pedagogy, or concert hall education, or ERP, education, learning, and participation, or according to the German term, concert pedagogic, can be called concert pedagogy. <clears throat> concert pedagogy is an activity-based, experience-centered educational activity, Pardon. Uh, which offers complex musical experience by live music, in an authentic environment, <clears throat> and it complements family education and, and aesthetic education at school in a special, non-formal way, just like museum pedagogy and theater pedagogy does. The concept pedagogical attitude considers the development of receptive skills its primary goal. This is why it wants to provide real and valid musical experiences for young people, with particular emphasis on tools which are available at concert halls and rehearsal rooms. Moreover, the innovative approach represented by concert pedagogy can be successfully applied not only in concert activity, but in any field of art education and public education. In Western European practice, this educative activity is linked to public education, form a close relationship with the educa educational institutions. 
Concept pedagogy, therefore, forms the bridge between informal and formal music education. In other words, between the huge amount of disorganized everyday musical experience and the very structured, science-based, value-oriented school education, with usually react, which usually reacts slowly to the changes. Concept pedagogy combines the former of its up-to-dateness, spontaneity, diversity, experience, nature, with the latter of its value-oriented nature, methodological sophistication, consciousness, and high artistic quality. The program of the Western European concert halls uh, and orchestras also pays attention to the formation of community ties. Typical, typically, they try to take an important part in the overall organization of a larger region's musical life, in the training of professionals and musicians, and at last but not least, in the development of public education. In these countries, reviving and maintaining the traditions, traditions of music making community gets great importance. For these reasons, some concert halls assume the role of a center for amateur music making. Amateur ensembles, community choirs, variety of music, of music courses and workshops that find their home in these institutions. When planning concert pedagogical activity, the fundamental tasks are defining the target groups and finding the proper tools. It's a great challenge to reach out to high school and college age groups. Consumer habits of teenagers are especially influenced by their contemporary race, specific youth subculture, which are re reflected in the, in the media and entertainment industry. Art education at schools and the cultural media are forced to complete, uh, compete with these rivals. This pressure is recognizable, recognizable in the operation of Western European concert halls. Several foreign programs are built on the synthesis of classical music and contemporary genres, for example, rap or DJ music. But the superficial union of genres uh, for instance, crossover does not gain a powerful lot of recipients for classical music as it is deprived of its very receptive character. However, it is without a, doubt, without a doubt that concert hall pedagogy and music education in schools has to extend their attention and activity beyond the sphere of European, European art music in the direction of jazz or folk music, world music, or even pop. This is essential for audience development in terms of an effective development of adequate reception. It can be seen that Western European concert pedagogical aspirations sway between the demands, demands of education and marketing. Hungary's two decades of lagging behind in the field of concert pedagogy can become an advantage. We can construct our own ideas based on others' experiences, successes and mistakes, preserving the values of our pedagogy, staying true to our traditions. There are two approaches to concert pedagogy. <clears throat> Audience development can also be interpreted as a form of recruiting audience related to other promotional, marketing and PR activities. The aim is the survival of music institutions and their concert life to ensure the market-based operation to reproduce a layer of music consumers. Those who approach the topic from the aspect of pedagogy consider the transmission of music as improving the quality of human life, regard music and music making as a source of joy for people, and as a special tool for the transmission of culture. The two viewpoints does not contradict each other. Audience development 
must be applied with pedagogical consideration. Otherwise, we can easily fall into the trap that we educate consumers rather than a receptive audience. This does not go against the demands of the market, but needs a serious investment. This investment is called education. Concert hall pedagogy, art education in schools, and musical education should collaborate in this work. When this cooperation becomes a curricular element in a country, the effects of concert pedagogical activity in public education became, become planable. There are countries which have already accepted the importance of the concert pedagogy, the concert education project and the niche role on state level, so they can receive appropriate governmental, municipal and or civil support. The first step has already been taken in Hungary too. The concert pedagogy in the Hungarian national core curriculum has already appeared as well. We can read the following sentence in preamble of the National Curriculum uh, 2012. The cooperation between public education and institutions and organizations of culture is essential for the sake of musical education. So, concert pedagogy is a part of singing and music education. Yes. The Palace of Art is one of the first institutions in Hungary whose mission is to contribute to the music education. That's why we developed our youth and family program. Our vision is to provide possibilities for youngsters to experience music interactively in a diverse range of genres. The Palace of Arts would like to offer a wide variety of programs for all age groups from toddlers to university students and develop an experience-based reception focused approach in state education. The concert hall is a completely new participant in the field of education. Our goal is to explain the potentials of cooperation between schools and other cultural mediators. The Budapest Palace of Arts has been continuously developing its own family and youth programs in the service of audience development. In practice, this means that it gave birth to an education, educational program which follows the concepts, principles previously discussed. It offers a variety of programs for infancy to adolescence. Besides focusing on traditional children's concepts, the, pro uh, the program also encourages active particip participation. Sorry. Uh, considering its infrastructure, economic opportunities, arts and program concepts, the Palace of Arts has place among the greatest concert halls of Europe. I am pr proud to say that we created a progressive and complex educational program. Now I, now I would like to present the five main elements, the five main pillars of uh, family and youth programs of the Palace of Arts. First uh, group is children concerts. Uh, these concerts have been created for age groups who as of yet have not developed skills for a receptive understanding of all evening concerts. Baby concerts with their easily under, understandable, pleasant sounding music serve the development of perceptual skills uh, of the smallest children. The series of, of mini matinee provides a fun, easily digestive musical experience for kindergarten, primary school age children with particular emphasis on the artistic character of the performances and also leaves room for children's activity. School age population is the target group of matinee concerts, which is a thematic series presenting the various genres of different eras. Children are guided by a competent person, conductor, musician, other artists, focused on developing a proper receptive attitude. 
the second uh, pillar uh, called activity and exper experience. In these programs, children can get closer to understanding and enjoying music through participation. Sing Along Baby in Hungarian Ringot Ringoto is a program for toddlers up to the age of three, which follows Kodai's principles. It encourages parents to play and sing along with their kids. It also helps develop both language and music skills through native folk music, nursery rhymes and Hungarian folk games. In Busy with Music in Hungarian Tesves Muzika, by finding creative uses of everyday items such as towels, curves, clothes, packs, buttons and wooden blocks, gives new meaning to routine activities like getting dressed, bathing, bathing and hanging clothes up to dry through songs and rhymes. The Playtime Don't Just Listen in Hungarian Zenebona program uh, for school children brings within the joy of creating and discovering music and musical instruments. Improvisational exercises, musical games and the process of modeling, testing and playing on instruments bring the children closer to an understanding of contemporary music and knowledge of musical instruments. Muzi, creative artistic activity, following Menuhin's initiative, the purpose is to provide children with the kinds of impulses, impulses through the medium of the arts that make them more open to absorbing, interpreting and reinterpreting the many diverse elements of the outside world. Once a month, month uh, at the Seven Kingdoms Dance House, Hetet Het Dance House, with the help of outstanding music musicians, masters of traditional instruments and dance masters, children can take their first dance steps and get to know the traditions of the country's regions. Through stories, games, customs, music, songs and the distinctive instruments of individual regions, they take part not only as, li as listeners, but as an active participants in communal play and dance. Uh, prepare, preparing for the concert. Uh, concert pedagogy aspires to lead those who frequent children's programs to a stage where they become competent audience of adult concerts. There is, however, a gap in the transitions and young, young people need support. This is traditionally received at home or at school, but the concert hall, given its particular features and special position, may also uh, play uh, a role in the preparation. Tuning, in Hungarian Hongolo, is an hour-long informal discussion for school groups before the evening concert. Here the participants learn about the music of the concert, help and clues are given to them to bring the musical experience closer as fully as possible. Uh, finally, not finally, uh, learning about the instruments. Uh, this is the next uh, pillar of, of our programs. The encounter with the instruments is a joy by itself but it is much easier to assess the real value of getting the sound right on any musical instruments if one has met with its difficulties. This experience is offered in playtime, don't just listen, uh, and the instrumentor in Hungarian, Hong Ser San, is also a thematic series, series which, uh, in which children can get the chance to familiarize themselves with different families of instruments in the context of authentic live music, live music and with uh, the assistance of expert musicians. And finally, other encounters. Uh, there are programs which do not have music, uh, but other content in the center. Such program is the building presentation called uh, let's go to the palace, Iranya Mipo, and mostly the Palace of Delights, Cifra Palota, offering countless possibilities for interactive play. 
These programs provide an amazing experience and knowledge associated with a positive attitude that will help develop personal ties to their parents. Network, about the networking and our partner school program. The most important area of external relations in the numerous form and the cooperation with educational institutions. There is a wide range of opportunities from the group visits of concerts and rehearsals opportunities through the concerts in the school to the workshops which fit into the curriculum and provide the opportunity of shared creative activities. The most important thing is that the concert hall or the orchestra and the school find their place, find their place uh, and purpose in this collaboration. Uh, because my time is over, I, I uh, jump a little bit. Uh, to the last uh, slide. Music teaching in Hungarian schools, thanks to our rich educational heritage, is still in a better position than in several Western countries. Structurally, in content, and in attitude, however, it cannot provide answers for the challenges that we face, regardless of whether we welcome them or not. The question is not whether uh, it is possible to, to, to teach uh, the children music, children music, reading and writing in one lesson per week. The, less, the question is how we can show them the values and pleasure of art. I would like to uh, end my presentation with a Kodai quote, which uh, I think fits here uh, and expressing a really deep thought. It has a message for the present day. Kodai speaks about shared tasks and responsibilities with the following words. I will not read it. Uh, there is no one who is unable to do something in this enterprise, and everyone is responsible who can, who can do something. Said Kodai. Thank you for your attention.